we'll be sharing as this service unfolds. The gift of this table, which is really what this night ultimately is about, that the Lord has a table and a meal and ways for us to be fed in him. So we are all welcome to receive from the Lord, to taste and see that the Lord is good. Would you please pray with me? Holy God, your son Jesus came as a servant to wash away our pride and feed us with the bread of life. We praise you for inviting us to serve one another without pride, to forgive one another as we have been forgiven, and to feast at his table as members of one household. Amen.
sing a song and worship you. And if it puts me in the fire, I'll rejoice because you're there too. I won't be formed by feelings. I will fast to what is true. Just as I said to the Jews, so now I will also say to you, where I am going you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. It's good to come together and to feel the body of Christ literally taking shape before our eyes as we see one another, as we sing together, as we hear the word read over us. Would you take just a moment and say hello to a neighbor and just say a blessed Monday Thursday to you. So we are, are gathered here on this night we call Maundy Thursday, and for some that may be a very strange phrase, new to your ears. For others, it may be something you've grown up with. It's one of those strange, quirky things about how language takes shape. It starts with this Latin phrase called novum mandatum, which means new commandment. And we heard Ryan reading that just a moment ago from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, Jesus has a new commandment. And this word mandatum has morphed and changed just as language continues to change today until it became this word mandi. So Monday Thursday is, is about receiving this commandment from Jesus that we are to love one another. So we're going to sing a song uh, about that, I want to make sure to direct your attention in the bulletin where it says, Reading with Sung Response. And so uh, we're going to sing together this chorus that's printed in the bulletin. Our band is going to lead us. I'll intersperse some readings and we'll keep singing together. This day, Christ, the Lamb of God, gave himself into the hands of those who would slay him. A new commandment I give unto you, that you 
On this day, Christ gathered with his disciples in the upper room. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you On this day, Christ our God gave us this holy feast, that we who eat this bread and drink this cup may here proclaim his holy sacrifice and be partakers of his resurrection and that the last day may reign with him in heaven. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Let us pray. Holy God, source of all love. On the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment, to love one another as he loved them. Write this commandment in our hearts. Give us the will to serve others as he was the servant of all, who gave his life and died for us yet is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We are going to take the next portion of our night tonight to experience the stations, as we call them. If you want to turn with me into your bulletins, the title at the top says Experiencing. And that's what we all want to do tonight. We want to go to these different stations and remember, we want to try to think and feel and smell what Jesus was experiencing the night that he was going to be betrayed. And so this is a slow journey with our Lord. So take your time, and you might not get to every station. You can see that uh, there are ledger tables right outside the Portland Worship Center to the right and to the left, uh, and they have some readings and some things to smell and touch. And there is a, a foot and hand washing uh, over by the fireplace. And Pastor Dave and I will be um, sitting, um, welcoming. Gals can come to me. Guys can go to Pastor Dave. Uh, and we'd be honored to sit with you in that moment. And then at the Crossover Cafe, uh, Emily Gertz and her team is preparing bread unleavened bread that you can help roll out and bake on the irons that they have fired up. And that will be the bread that we break and partake of together uh, when we come to the Lord's table. There's coloring. You'll see the, the sheets and the tables set up. Uh, there will be a time of worship and prayer in this space and then there's our art gallery. If you've never seen that, head to the left side of the outer side of the sanctuary and just spend some time in reflection. And then as the music begins to play again, we will gather in here and we'll hear from some of you 
who might have a short testimony to share of how God met you in this time. So we invite the Holy Spirit to fall afresh on this time.
Well, that was beautiful. This is just kind of an open time. If you feel prompted that you might share something with the group. And you kind of know 
when the Lord's prompting you to say something. And can I also just say that if you share something, that will bless all of us. So I'll just give it a minute. You can just raise your hand. I uh, stubbed my toe really bad this week, and it was hideous to look at. And, uh, and so I didn't want to, I didn't want to get my feet washed because I didn't want to show the broken nature of uh, what lied beneath my sock. But my wife encouraged me, why don't you just put that out there? <laughs> and so I'm um, challenged that we don't always want to show the gruesome details, but that's important. That's really good. Jim? Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I just had an unbelievable experience. I, I just uh, walked through the, the crossover area, and I, walked, I was going over to look at the art gallery, and I walked down uh, uh, going on the north side of the sanctuary, and there's a beautiful picture um, uh, of, the, uh, uh, of Jesus calming the storm with the dove from, from heaven coming down. And I, I just sat there, and I said a prayer, and I opened my eyes, and right in front of me, viewing right straight through the sanctuary, is a beautiful, magnificent sunset shining through the resurrection windows. And it was just like it was on fire. And it just truly had a reminder that we, we truly are a, a beacon on the hill. And to share our love with one another, as he has commanded us to do, we, we are all blessed. Beautiful. I'm always amazed at the artistic talent of so many people in our congregation um, because I have none. And, and then I looked at the kids doing the coloring and I was really humbled uh, because the, the abilities they have far exceed anything that I have. But I, it, it's always amazing to me to see how God gifts people in different ways. And we have a lot of talented people here at Hope Church. Thank you. couple more. I'm going to go over to this side of the room. No pressure. I've been blessed just the age group that we have here from you little tykes to us old, well, older, but uh, what a blessing to be a part of this together and just enjoy each other. What a blessing. Thank you. The thing that impressed me the most was um, the wheat and the threshing and um, Jesus telling Peter that he would be uh, shifted sifted like wheat. And um, when the women were using those baskets, um, they weren't being gentle about it. They were really kind of whopping it up and down. And the women that were um, beating the wheat, uh, they weren't being gentle either. They were really thrashing it. And it just really impressed me that um, Peter had to go through a very rough refining, a very rough cleansing. But at the end, uh, like those wheat berries, uh, it was smooth and clean and ready to be used. And um, so sometimes we can be sifted, but we have to remember that is a gift. Beautiful to share. It's beautiful to share our testimonies, and someone's pointing me somewhere. Oh, here. Doug. Thank you. Mm -hmm. As I 
looked at the wheat that Kathy just talked about, um, it brought me back to my childhood, growing up on the farm, and I remember my dad telling me to take a handful of the wheat that after it had been thrashed and start chewing it, and it turns into gum. So uh, it was a good memory uh, of my childhood. Hmm. Well, beautifully said. Uh, are you guys going to lead us yeah. into the next song? Um, continue to share these stories with the people you came with and throughout these next few days. What the Lord has done for us. And we are experiencing that tonight. The Lord who kneels before his disciples and washes their feet. The Lord who has the humility to go to the cross and to experience this humiliating death that we might be forgiven not sifted, but saved. So this table is his gift to us. And each and every one of you is invited tonight to receive these gifts, the bread and the cup. Take Jesus into you. What a gift. Let us pray. Loving God, Thank you for sending your son. Thank you for all he means to you and thank you for all he means to us. Thank you for the gift of this table. Thank you for the gift of um, living a sinless life that he did and showing us as an example how to love others. Help us to receive your love and grace at this table tonight. In your name, amen. On the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord took bread. And after he had given thanks for it, he broke it. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup and said, this is the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. And every time we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's saving death until he returns. We are going to be sending the elements through the rows. Elder Vicki, are you here? Marty's going to, Elder Marty and Elder Jim are going to be uh, facilitating the passing of the baskets. We're asking tonight that you hold the bread until everyone's been served and then we're going to eat together.
Pastor Casey is going to be going around with gluten-free bread. All the bread was made tonight, by the way. Isn't that wonderful? So if you, if you need to prefer the gluten option, it's available to you. So I am going to... hold the bread. Did you say that? Yes, I just said we're going to hold the bread. We're going to Pastor hold Casey the bread. says she knows it's different. <laughs> it's we don't different. want to miss this one. Hold the bread. We'll eat the bread we together. Hang on to it, and then we're going to so, eat it together. And you may want to do as I'm going to do to Jack and say the body of Christ is broken for you, if you want, to your neighbor. Gluten-free, you raise your hand. Ida, the body of Christ broken for you.
bread and you gave thanks and then you said, this is me broken for you. In the same way you took the cup, your new covenant of love and you said, this is me poured out for you. And would you stand as you're able and join me in singing the Lord's Prayer?
Our Lord has taught us to pray, and now we're that much closer to the cross and hear him praying in Gethsemane. And Jesus came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done.
as we close tonight, we continue the journey to the cross. Um, we'd love for you to come back and join us tomorrow at noon or at 7 or join us on the live stream and go with this simple benediction as I say it over you and as you respond simply with thanks be to God. Go in peace. As Christ has loved you, go love one another. Thanks be to God. Amen. If you want, I mean, it's, it's printed in here, so... Dear friends, if there's anybody who would like to assist with setting the room for Easter worship, we'd be glad to have some help here in the Portland Worship Center.